Nachos, down with the Caballeros. If you're from Colombia, you'll recognize exactly where I am at the moment. But if you're not, you probably have no clue. So, I'll tell you. I just arrived to Cartagena a couple of hours ago, and I'm in front of the very famous uh, fort that was used to defend Cartagena many, many years ago. Hopefully I'll find out more about it. I'm not going to do a tour today. I'll probably uh, do something different tomorrow. And then I'll uh, pay over there and check it out a little bit more over the next two or three days. So, so far I'm liking where my hostel's at. It seems to be in a neat little area. It's only literally two, two and a half blocks from right here. So it's uh, accessible to all the tourist areas. So I think I'm going to enjoy my time in Cartagena. But it is pretty toasty here. So. Check it out, that one. Maybe I will go in there today because I don't really have time to wander too far because it's already a couple hours away from getting dark. So we'll just check out the perimeter and then maybe I'll uh, go in there. Maybe it's a good time after all because it's not going to be so hot as it would be during the uh, midday sun. Now if I recall correctly, there's a cathedral up on that hill there and this is actually my third time in Cartagena but I don't know the city all that well I didn't really do a whole lot when I was here the other times but I did do the uh, tour to Isla Paru Raja Blanca and the aquarium which were fun but they're pretty expensive tours here so the guy at the hostel where I'm staying told me that he can tell me how to get over there on my own because there is a uh, a bridge that goes there It's a little sketchy in this area over here. Thinking you know, about doing a little sneak attack to see if it's being well defended still, but I'll give them a break today. One day after. Hey, you know, <laughs> it's funny now everybody's got their masks on. Dealing their, their identities. You just never know when you kind of wander off the beaten path what you're going to be wandering into. But I have a philosophy. Just kind of act like you know what you're doing and don't be looking around like you're lost. Just be casual within reason that's always worked for me and we got a different side over here like we got guys warming up for some athletics all right so I decided to do the uh, fort and I was surprised it's well maybe I shouldn't be surprised things are a little expensive here 
costs uh, 25000 to get in, which is about um, $9.50 Canadian, $8.40 US. But this is a very touristy city, so it's to be expected. And then the tour guide just back there, they wanted 25000 more for a tour guide, which I declined. Because for one, I didn't even have that much on me. <laughs> I was just going to wander around, so I didn't bring a lot of money with me. But they're pretty strict about wanting people to wear the face mask, so I'll have to kind of put that on at least for the time being. Anyhow, let's, let's explore the, this amazing old port here. All right, I'm not gonna read through all this history here, but uh, it says something about uh, 1800. Obviously built to ward off invaders. And what else does it say in here? I'm not really a history buff, to be quite honest with you. So I don't, I'm more of a visual person, so I don't really, care that much about dates and all that stuff. Let's head down here towards the uh, cannons. And I will try to stay out of trouble. Here's a little bit of a view of Cartagena, which I'm sure will get even better as I go up higher. see the ocean yet but I think it's probably all along that stretch all along there where you can see the high higher buildings so this section here looks like it has something to do with water now I don't know if that water was used to churn up electricity but it looks like it had something to do with water and then the this is quite a slope right here so I guess the water uh, poured out from here or in one or the other all right there's our first look at the water so yeah I'm not too far away from the uh, inner harbor area all right next I'm going to go going to go in the uh, tunnel I'm sure uh, is a lot of here I'm just going to presume that I'll figure out where I'm going as I go along here Probably going to be pretty dark for you guys. That's not too bad. Very narrow, so I'm six feet tall, and my head is exactly touching the top. And it's about two feet wide. So it looks like this is going to take me to the top area. Yep. More of the top. Okay, and the view is getting better and better. Get a better layout of the land here. I assume there's one more set of steps at some point that, that I'll be able to go up to. Now, I don't know where the uh, boats leave from in the scheme of things here. I'll have to figure all that out tomorrow. The boats for um, Isla Peru. Spots that I definitely want to go to. It's like more of a scene out of paradise. So where I wandered around before, where I said it's a little bit sketchy, is I went all along there, all around that green belt there. Okay, here's a little bit more detail for you. The castle of San Felipe de Barajas. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1984 and construction began in 1657 and completed in 1769. And going in one more 
tunnel that I presume will take me to the real top of this place. Oh. Top part was six feet tall. <laughs> This was kind of a gun turret place with these little narrow slits right here and there and there. Oh, 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 quite fit through there. Tip numero uno is definitely come in the late afternoon when you'll be able to get some nice shade like this because again it does get really hot here in Cartagena and I don't know what time people are supposed to be off of the uh, Castillo castle but I'm going as slowly as I can in hopes that I can get some nice golden light, softer light, and maybe even a sunset because there is some cloud over there. So I'm just dawdling along, taking my time. Apparently this is the non-windy side, or less windy. So just for reference, in case you are in Cartagena, uh, so far I, I am liking the hotel where I'm staying, Ostal, and it's right Right over there is a mall, and then you can see a, a light blue. I think it's right in between the mall and that light blue area right over there, but literally just, if I can find a way through the alleyway, it'd be literally a block away from the, the castle, so can't beat the location for that. And one good thing about that is, no matter where you go in the city, you, pretty much can't get lost if you're walking around so that's always good. Too bad I didn't get it on video but it's kind of funny I uh, was just over on the other side there and the lady security guard asked me to take some photos of her so she uh, took off her mask and her shield and all that stuff so that was kind of funny. And apparently I am allowed up here during the uh, sunset so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hang out that sky lights up with some nice orange colors over there. As you can probably see, it's already getting to be that golden hour now. The light's nice and subtle, and that's what you want. Probably going to be a nice golden tone over that way there. A little bit of color in the sky maybe, but the main color looks like it's going to be over there in the sky. Se llama para las personas malas. <laughs> Me? Yo? Esposo <laughs> de deseo. ¿De qué? De deseo. De deseo. Oh, okay. 
I'm so sneaky I got her on film. Nice friendly young gal. And the light is getting even better now. Another 20 minutes and that should tell me the story as to whether that's going to light up or not in that cloud. it up. security guard waving me to go back to where I was going. I didn't see this this way here. <laughs> Hopefully I'll find my way out of here. If I don't, I think that he's going to be along soon. of this pretty huge castle. down to the bottom and then we'll see what it looks like with the castle all lit up from down below. We got pretty much a full moon up in the sky. Just see my security guard again, the old fist pump. There's some people coming up here. Just 
talking to the guy that's doing some karate. <laughs> and I can't remember what it's a certain martial art, I guess it's in this area. Anyhow, I think I made the right decision to come to the castle. And beautiful sunset, so I'm pretty happy about that. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of the castle. Maybe it's a little bit boring to watch, but um, anyhow, Cartagena is a pretty cool place. It's got some character. Um, I think that I'm going to be trying a lot of different foods over the next three days. Obviously there's going to be a lot of seafood here. I'm going to try to track down the place where Anthony Bourdain went to. He was trying different foods. If I can, that'd be really cool. It's like quite a jungle of a market. But anyhow, again, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider giving a thumbs up, subscribing, and here comes the noise music. So until next time, Master Lost Tacos. Ciao. Now that's a party bus. The big black party bus. <laughs> Oh, and I have to add this one other thing. Cartagena is famous for the Chiba buses with the very loud music, very brightly colored buses. I don't think I'll be doing that, but I'll, uh, I guess that's the new version. That's the uh, Chiba bus 2021. But uh, I'm going to head back to the ho hotel now. And if I see some other Chivas around, I'll definitely record them.